Why, hello there everybody, this is Pop Pan Man, and I'm very quickly going to introduce this 4v4 game battles game I have for you today. It's on Outpost, which I never feel gets shown enough, so I thought I'd upload this. It's not the most incredibly amazing, superb, perfect, brilliant masterpiece of gameplay that you'll ever see, but it's pretty decent. I'm playing a support role in this game, um, so you'll see me making sure our flanks are covered, um, picking off stragglers from the other team, and so on and so forth, and yeah, so enjoy the gameplay. Uh, I'm actually going to talk today about um, the new trailer for Black Ops 2 and what I think about it. Purely what I think about it, a bit of speculation, my opinions, um, first impressions, and all that stuff. So first impressions is, well, the first time I watched it, I had to double check it was Call of Duty I was watching. I actually thought it could have been Halo. <laughs> No joke. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go and watch it as well. Not until you've finished watching this video, but go and watch it afterwards. Um, so yeah, I actually thought it would look kind of like Halo. Um, it's very futuristic-y. Not so much so that it's like Star Wars or something, but although that was a long time ago. and Yeah, never mind. I'm not a Star Wars geek. <laughs> no. uh, but yeah, it looks kind of like Halo in the, res in the aspects of... Uh, there's like kind of robots and stuff, uh, unmanned vehicles, although obviously you get that already with UAVs and stuff, but literally like the stuff you're fighting is like robots. Uh, anyway, I know it's like a single player trailer, but obviously that is going to reflect in the multiplayer what we see um, in, in the single player. So like obviously the technology is going to be more improved in the near future. Like it does actually say in the description of the trailer, it's a near future game. It's not like miles into the future, everyone's shooting their like laser pistols and stuff and using telekinesis to blow people's minds up or something random like that. It's not that far into the future so I think it looks alright in that respect. I like Treyarch as well. I think they made some good games. I quite like Black Ops. I didn't play like GB on it but I did play quite a bit of pubs on it and I enjoy Black Ops. I really love World at War and I think that Treyarch are going to stay true to what Call of Duty is all about and that's you know that's a gun on gun gameplay and fast paced action and bullets. I don't want to see lasers. <laughs> I do not want to see lasers. I've, I've had enough of heartbeat sensors to be honest so I don't want any of that. Um, so I think stay arc, uh, stay arc, Treyarch will stay um, with the core of what Call of Duty is. Um, they, know, they know what the fans want and I think it's a wise move actually to do something slightly futuristic um, because how many times has the Second World War been done? How many times has Modern Warfare been done now? And they've done Black Ops the, the number one, which was obviously in the Cold War. So like all the time that you could put this game in has been done. Like you couldn't make this game set in the 19th century where everyone's got one shot, then they have to reload for a minute, and that'd just be absolutely ridiculous. Like shoot by r fire by rank, <laughs> that does not work. Go and play Empire Total War if you want to do that. But so obviously like the time restriction uh, applies to this game and I think it's been done quite a bit already. Um, so I think going into the near future was uh, pretty much the only way they could go or they'd be repeating themselves. So, so it'll be interesting to get your guys' opinions. I don't know if that's a word by the way. Your guys', your guys opinions. <laughs> uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to get your guys' opinions uh, on what you think about this and whether you think it's a good idea. I mean, it's been oh, like six, I want to say six games. Let me work out. Uh, Call of Duty 4, World at War, and Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, okay, maybe 5, I don't know, I can't count. <laughs> uh, but so 5 or 6 games uh, since COD 4 like, transformed the multiplayer online universe. And so I think it's probably a good thing that they've decided to change it up and test the market out and how people feel about it. I know there's already games like I know Ghost Recon, I haven't played it myself, but that looks kind of futuristic-y and... Obviously, I've mentioned before, Halo looks kind of like, oh, I got a plasma sword. I don't think there'll be like any uh, panic plasma sword in. It'll, it'll still be panic knife in, <laughs> in this game. But um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to hear what you guys want to want to see in the, in the new game. Especially now we've got that um, we've got the freedom to work with uh, near future equipment. Would you, what would you like to see? Would you like to see laser pistols, or <laughs> would you prefer to stick to the good old bullets? I think I'd prefer to stick to uh, regular ammunition personally and just stick um, you can you, know, you can stick all the cool stuff in uh, fancy stuff in the single player campaign so m maybe but keep multiplayer just fast paced uh, keep it skill based or well, I say keep it skill based make it skill based I mean take out Kimbo FMGs and all that rubbish and take out heartbeat sensors take out t try and tone down the kill streaks yet again bring it back to like COD 4 just make it 3, 5, 7 you got a UAV you got an airstrike you got a chopper that's it sorted everyone's happy um so that's obviously for public games, but for competitive, obviously you're going to 
not going to have heartbeat sensors and all that stuff, so it won't matter so much. So maybe for competitive, this game's going to be awesome. Um, I'm hoping there won't be any massive host advantage or lag compensation. I'm hoping it's going to be as even as possible. Uh, I don't know how exactly they can make that happen, but you know, they kind of messed up a bit of Modern Warfare 3, especially on PS3. I'm hoping PS3 version of this game is going to be a bit better than Modern Warfare 3 is. Um, I'm hoping when they actually patch it to fix it, they actually fix it and not make it worse. <laughs> um, that's a whole other story. You know, my, you already know my feelings on the connection on this game. Um, I'm not going down that road. Uh, but yeah, I think overall, I trust, I trust Treyarch um, to make a good game and They've made they've made good games in the past, and I think it's going to be a good competitive game. I, like when I say competitive, I mean on the competitive scene. Maybe the single player and public games are going to be a bit like, whoa, okay, I've got a pit boy. Like if you play Fallout 3, it, it looks like you've got a pit boy on one of the scenes. But um, so yeah, uh, and heartbeat sensors and all that stuff and teleportation. Uh, okay, I'm going a bit too far again, a bit wacky, but um, but yeah, I think um, for competitive, it's going to be a good game. It's going to be a nice little change and. To stick to Treyarch if you're ever if anyone at Treyarch ever happens to randomly see this video, just stick to to what you what you know we fans like. Um, I know it's probably too late. You already made the game. But that's it. Anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the game. I think I've sort of waffled on as always um, about random stuff. But yeah, tell me what you you guys is <laughs> you guys is think about this game, and I'll uh, see you again soon uh, with my one v one tutorial video. It'll probably be the next thing I upload. I promise you I will be uploaded within, say, a week, I don't know, but I promise you I will get that out to you, it will be Popper Man's top tips uh, for one beat one Anyway, that's the end of the video, um, finally. Um, I can stop talking now and get this thing rendered and uploaded for you to swatch a lot. Uh, thanks for watching, bye.